going to go film the street, but I don't think I better. It's still coming down too hard. Well, grass is floating. Our yard is floating. Both sides of the street is flooded. Uh, too bad we got cars in the way. We're running between the houses like you wouldn't believe. Oh, the teeth are chattering. Street's flooding as usual. Love it, love it, love it. And it's a thunderstorm, so I had to turn off the computer. I neglected to dig my trench prior to the rain. So, see how dry this stuff is? If it wouldn't come down too fast, it would soak in nicely. But, it wants to come down too fast. Well, we had a bit of a rain. I was able to collect some water. I've got it siphoning down there. And the ones with the handles, I stick them in the barrel. But I leave the jugs in the barrel once they're filled up because it brings the water level down too low. But once they're all filled up, then I take them out. And one of the ways I draw a siphon besides sucking on the hose is I fill the hose up and I can't do this with just one hand. So once I fill the hose up, I put my finger over the end of the hose, stick the other end in the water, drop this one down, let the siphon start running, and then stick it in the bucket. as it wants to fall over. And this way I don't have to suck on it every time. I knew these nets would come in handy. Because you really don't want all this crud in the bottle. And I bail with my little cup on a stick. Can't let the air out. And once it's down about a gallon, I can do it this way. It's a lot less, it takes a lot less energy to shove the water under the water than it does to bail it out one at a time. And I can usually get two in a bucket. Because once I take one out, the water level will be too low to put one in. can't fill them up individually. I would need to leave one in to be able to fill two. And with any luck, this will displace a gallon of water or close to it. I can be able to get about a half a jug. about half. At least I don't have to bail that much. Now I need to go on a lid hunt before the raccoons come around. Because believe you me, any open vessel, the raccoons have to put their feet in them and knock over my buckets of water. And then I do some bailing with a pan on a stick. That's better when the thing's full. I have too many things inside of this leaky greenhouse. 
that I do not want to get wet. So, I picked me up a roll of plastic. What is it, 3.5 mils? Well, it's heavier than a Ziploc bag, I can say that much. So I'm going to try doing the same thing with the plastic as I did with the bed sheets. Put it on a piece of PVC pipe and drape it over, but weight it down since it is going to catch the wind. Well, I think I've temporarily fixed that problem. I need to go grab some more clips to make sure it doesn't become a sail. And I've got it clipped down with that pipe because I am not going to break my artichokes and tomatoes to go clip it down. Of course, I could always go next door and hang over the fence. But I think first I'll just put some heavy clips on it. Oh, I see a rooster. There's his head with his comb and it comes down to a big fat chest. And there's his tail sticking up in the air. Ah, I see a rooster in the clouds. And there's a puppy dog. There's his two ears. And he's looking away. He's No, maybe he is looking this way. Because I can see an eyeball and another eyeball. And there's a nose. There's a body and the front legs. Oh, yeah, I see a puppy dog. Or it could be a bunny. 